In this video, we will discuss the composition of functions. Before we formally define composition, let's discuss the main idea with a real-world example. Let's say that you had some spare potatoes in your pantry and wanted to make mashed potatoes. From start to finish, we can visualize the process of making mashed potatoes as applying a series of functions. First, we need to dice the potatoes. We can think of this process as a function, with the input being a plain potato, the output being a diced potato, and the rule or function applied is that of dicing with a knife. Next, we need to boil the potatoes. We can view this process as a function, with the input being a diced potato, the output being a boiled potato, and the rule applied is that of boiling. Finally, we need to mash our boiled potatoes. We can view this process as a function whose input is the boiled potatoes, whose output is the mashed potatoes, and the rule applied is that of mashing. The end result of this entire process is mashed potatoes, but we had to take several steps to get there. Notice that every time we move on to a new step, the output for the previous step is used as the input for the current step. This is the idea behind function composition. We use the output of one function as the input into another function. With the general idea in mind, we can now formally define the composition of functions. Let f be a function from a to b, and g be a function from b to c for three non-empty sets a, b, and c. The composite function, denoted g compose f, is the function g compose f from a to c, defined by g compose f of x is equal to g of f of x. There are several important notes to make regarding this definition. The first note is that although this composition is read from left to right as g compose f of x, when actually evaluating the composition, we work from right to left. We first plug x into the function f and plug the result of that function, f of x, into g of x. The second note is a direct consequence of the first note. In order for the composition g compose f to be valid, the codomain of f must be a subset of the domain of g. For example, if the output f of x was equal to 0, but 0 was not in the domain of g, then we could not perform the composition g compose f. The output of the function f must be an acceptable input into g, otherwise the composition is invalid. Let's illustrate function composition with a mathematical example. Let f be a function from the natural numbers to the natural numbers, given by f of x equals x squared, and let g be a function from the natural numbers to the natural numbers, given by g of x is equal to x plus 2. With these two functions defined, let's consider the composition g compose f. Since the domain and codomains for both f and g are the natural numbers, we know that this composition is valid. Since we're trying to compute g compose f, we first need to compute f of x, and then plug that result into g to get the composition. When x is equal to 1, we find that f of x is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. So, to compute g of f of 1, we need to plug the result from f of x, which is 1, into the function g. g of 1 is equal to 1 plus 2, which is 3. So, g compose f of 1 is equal to 3. Since the natural numbers go on forever, we could continue this composition indefinitely, but we'll stop here. When x is equal to 3, f of 3 is 3 squared, which is 9, which we plug into g. g of 9 is equal to 9 plus 2, which is 11. So, the composition g compose f of 3 is 11. When x is equal to 2, f of 2 is 2 squared, which is 4, which we then plug into the function g. g of 4 
is equal to 4 plus 2, which is 6. So the composition G compose F of 2 is equal to 6. If we wanted to express the composition G compose F as a single function, we can take the algebraic expression for F, which is x squared, and replace the x in the algebraic expression for G with that x squared. So the function G compose F is actually the equation x squared plus 2. We can illustrate the composition of functions with diagrams, just like we can with regular functions. For example, let f be a function from z5 to z8, given by f of x is equal to x plus 3 mod 8, and let g be a function from z8 to z4, given by g of x is equal to x mod 4. Since the codomain of f and the domain of g are the same set, z mod 8, we can compute the composition g compose f. On the left, we have the set z mod 5. In the middle is the set z mod 8. And on the right is the set z mod 4. The blue arrows connect each element in z mod 5 to its corresponding image under f in z mod 8. And the orange arrows connect each of the elements in z mod 8 to their image under g in z mod 4. If we wanted to express this composition as a single function, then we can take the expression for f and substitute it into the expression for g, which would give us the composition g compose f is equal to x plus 3 mod 8, all mod 4.